She-Hulk's new foe is a dark reminder of why Batman can never end his war on crime. One surprising connection between She-Hulk and Batman reveals the dark truth behind the average hero's journey. Batman and She-Hulk are not two heroes who get lumped in with each other often, but one thing that connects them is the same mission that all superheroes share, the quest to stop crime permanently. For Batman, it relates to his war on crime, which may be too ambitious to succeed. The Sensational She-Hulk No. 7, by Rainbow Rowell, I.G. Guara, D. Cuniff, and V.C.'s Joe Cara Magna, echoes a similar sentiment as to why no superhero can ever complete such a journey. These last two issues mark the return of Ganymede for the first time in 30 years. Beyond just ruining She-Hulk's relationship, Ganymede Rev. Years before meeting She-Hulk, Ganymede, the last of the Arch Sisterhood of Spinsters, was on a mission to face off with the Blood Skrulls, who murdered the rest of her hive. With the help of Wanda Maximoff in Scarlet Witch No. 6, her mission was completed, but without the satisfaction she hoped for. In the time since then, Ganymede fell into a depression and has been aimless. From time immemorial, she had been bred by war, trained for war, and fought war, tragically, she didn't know what to do once she became a warrior without a conflict. She goes as far as to align herself with Draperg, a villain who attempted to orchestrate the destruction of Manhattan last year in She-Hulk's last self-titled series. Ganymede joins someone else's war strictly to give herself a purpose she's long lost. Now, Ganymede is blindly forcing herself into a conflict with She-Hulk. She has no qualms with She-Hulk, but Ganymede is willing to fight her purely so that she has something to fight for. In a way, this makes her more dangerous than she ever has been before. Readers rarely witness a superhero really complete their journey, usually, that journey is never-ending. Of course, superheroes are confronted with one threat after another because they exist in a serial medium, but Ganymede's fate in Sensational She-Hulk No. 7 offers an in-universe rationale. Readers don't want their favorite heroes suddenly adrift once their nemesis has been taken care of. For superheroes, there is no such thing as a definitive happy ending simply because there can't be, especially for characters like Batman, who are more committed than most. Imagine if Batman completed his war on crime and saved Gotham for good. In a world where there is no more crime and no longer a reason for Bruce Wayne to be Batman anymore, there's no longer a reason for Batman comics to exist. In universe, Batman would be aimless in the same way Ganymede is now. The same can be said for any hero in DC or Marvel, including She-Hulk, and speaks to a sad reality that so many heroes face as to why most heroes are destined, or doomed, to do this forever.